Good morning, boy. Good morning. Back in the studio today. I don't know why I feel like it's been a while since I've been here. Oh, what is that? You hear that? Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know why it's feel like felt like it feels like it's been a while since I've been in here. Um, I don't even know if it has been or not. I am really determined to like really get some stuff done. I feel like I don't just don't know where the days have been going. I, I think I want to set a date that I want to buy, which I want to do my concert by book my concert by and what i'm thinking is i'm thinking i'm thinking july 1st i want to try and have the concert booked by or at least the venue because i want to start promoting it that's i think the goal starting it off by working on the last week's concert actually i don't even know three weeks two weeks ago it's concert three weeks hi mama it's so nice out today it's so nice out you're such a good puppy all right you're a good puppy yeah I haven't given much of an update on the garden recently. The herbs are looking amazing. Look at that. We got herbs that are looking phenomenal. Phenomenal herbs going. Look at this. This is trimmed, like, tremendously. It was up to here. I think it was, like, up to here. Trimmed it back, made pesto with me and Jamie. Gave a bunch away to my family for Father's Day. Bunch of it. It's insane. And look how big it still is. It's crazy. Keep going. I, I think I showed you the beans that I put in. These are assorted beans. Look at this. Up here, up here, we put in... These guys, I have a bunch of these guys right here. This is an artichoke plant. How cool is this? Another artichoke plant. Another artichoke plant. There, another one, there's like a bunch of them. Up here, I put in cayenne pepper plants. So we're gonna have a lot of cayenne peppers, but they're looking pretty good. These are all cayenne pepper plants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, like 25 cayenne pepper plants. Over here, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Look at this section. This is crazy, you guys. We have sunflowers, cucumbers, beans, and what's gonna happen is the sunflowers are gonna be huge. They're gonna be like nine feet tall, and the, the cucumbers are gonna, and the beans are gonna run up the sunflowers. We have 56 stalks of corn over here. Look at this. You guys see how much corn that is? I still have to put the tomatoes in. They're gonna go around here. Well, there's a lot, of, actually, a lot of shade over here. I'm surprised at how much shade there is. All right, let me show you over here now. Let me show you over here. I added some new things. We got red romaine lettuce over here. Look at that. Red onion over here. Look at that. Gave my onions a haircut. Look at how amazing this is all looking. Look at, look at the lettuce, you guys. Look at the lettuce. My potatoes are phenomenal over there. I put in sweet potatoes over there. The arugula over here. We got broccoli rob that is flowering, which I don't know if it should be flowering. I feel like I need to trim these guys. I think I might be trying to trim them. The kale and the broccoli is coming back. Look at the kale we got over here. It's coming along, you guys. Look at these. The zucchinis are starting to flower, which is really cool. Which I might actually just take the flower because you can make like fried zucchini flowers, which is really cool. The garden is coming along, you guys. Farmer Jacob. Farmer Jacob to the rescue. Also, lastly, look at how good these carrots are coming out. Carrots look phenomenal. Hey, look at that. You see, I don't know. You can't see that. I don't think you'll be able to see that. But Zane Lowe replied to a, uh, my comment on his Instagram. On his, not on his Instagram. On his TikTok. That's actually pretty cool. Zane Lowe, we'll do an interview one day for my music. Stay tuned. So I'm about to post on the YouTube and I posted on all the social medias, TikTok and Instagram. I I like this idea. I've just started, uh, I don't know how long I'll keep it. I'm just, but I did it today. We'll say that. A 30 minute songwriting challenge, see what I can make in 30 minutes or less. And I'm posting it to YouTube now. Time for softball. And I'm going to look for my softball equipment in here. Uh, but as I'm doing that, I want to talk about what I learned or what we were talking about in my vocal lesson today. Really cool insight that we were talking about. We talked about, um, one, I listened back to my performance, um, or at least I listened back to a little bit of my performance from the wine cellar. And I got to say, I was thoroughly impressed with the pitch of it. Like, it was pretty on key. 
which is really cool and I'm really proud of myself for that progress. What I did notice though is a lot of it is very, at level 100, everything sounds like it's like, you know, me singing at 100%. And what I really wanna start doing is I wanna start learning how to be a bit more nuanced and like start to like really put the emotion behind it. Like we speak, we emphasize th certain words and we don't, there we go, it's a little brighter. We emphasize certain words and it's not like everything's exactly the same singing exactly like, but that's how I sing. Um, so it's now learning to be a bit more nuanced in it so that I can really communicate the emotion of what I'm trying to trying to say. So we talked about things like um, how, to, how we can get there and how to practice so certain songs to get to that place. So for example, we could practice by starting to like just speak the lyrics. Like this is a lot of stuff we talked about when I was practicing for the wish bus, but you just speak the lyrics out. And then once you speak the lyrics, then maybe you focus on breathing properly. And then maybe you focus on emphasizing certain words. And then maybe you focus on uh, phrasing the words or the communication that you want. Like, what do you want to communicate? What do you want the viewer or the listener to feel or hear when they hear this song? Uh, then maybe like, what do you want to feel when you hear this song? So all these different things to think about as I'm practicing um, and how to practice in the sense of like, I can think about that stuff, you know, pick three things and sing the song three times, you know, and then pick one each time, um, as opposed to like having to be like super distinct, okay, I'm gonna sit down and then do this for 30 minutes. and Like, like that's hard for me, but like I could do what, what I just said instead. Check out this homemade broccoli rob, look at this. Broccoli rob, a whole bunch.